Hey YouTube, so today I'm going to show you all how I slay all these different looks with just one wig. It's ratchet ass stocking cap. <laughs> so I'm going to show you all today how I apply my curly units. So this is the unit that I'm going to be applying today. Um, and I'm going to show you all a few different styles that I like to wear with this unit. So yeah. So of course, as always, start off with your stocking cap. You want to make sure everything is tucked in, any loose, any of your little baby hairs or whatever. Just tuck them all in. And guys, like, if you want to braid your hair, you can. I don't have the time, nor do I feel like braiding my hair, so I just slick mine back into a little ponytail and apply my stocking cap. Sometimes I do wear two stocking caps for a more flattened look, but yeah, so. Of course, as always, after you have applied your stocking cap, I'm going to start off with the Got To Be Blasting Spray. I don't know if you all can see that, but I'll leave everything, all the products in the description box below. So I'm going to start with this Blasting Spray. And um, I'm going to start by just spraying it around my edges. And as I spray... I'm going to rub it in at the same time. And just spray. I usually go around twice. And the reason why you want to rub it in as you spray, because it'll start, you know, running down your face. You don't want a sticky face. But, yeah, I got my hair dryer. So I'm just going to blow dry it. It's a little damp. I washed it earlier and you set it out and kind of let it air dry. So it is still a little bit damp, but it's not like dripping wet. So I'm just going to take my band and apply it. So when you first pull it up, no, you don't want it all up on your forehead, covering up your... nothing but water so I mixed a little water so I'm gonna spray it down and it's just water and a little bit set in lotion all right let's get into these baby hairs these bit 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 baby hairs <laughs> everybody always just having trouble with these baby hairs so of course y'all as always i'm gonna use my foam um doesn't matter what type of foam you use this isn't even really b and b this is something else but um in your eco gel you don't have to use necessarily eco gel but i just prefer this whatever you use do not use like um don't use like edge control and stuff like that because that makes it's just gonna make you make your lace all greasy and dirty so you don't want that um i prefer these combs versus i know some people use like those little brushes and things like that but these work perfect these type of combs just a red tail comb um just a red tail comb these work perfect for me so I'm going to grab a little bit of my gel and just, you only need a little bit, not too much. And spray, uh, put a little bit of satin lotion around my edges and just going to go to work. So there's no particular really way that I'm trying to lay my baby hairs. I just... Like, a, like this look, I want it to be like a natural, just curly girl look. 
nothing too like serious so I um so this unit all my units are pre-plucked sometimes I have to watch myself because I end up spending like a little bit too much time on these baby hairs but like I just like to make sure they're right you know so I just keep messing with them until I get that desired look that I want yeah so once I finally get that you know particular look that I'm kind of wanting or looking for I pretty much can be done um, so this is, I'm going to spray it a little bit. Like I said, this is nothing but water and a dab of satin lotion. I just had to empty out an old, this was supposed to be like flat iron spray. I didn't do nothing but empty it out, add a little water and satin lotion. I was too lazy to go buy a spray bottle. So I just want to damp it a little bit just to make... The curls are a little more juicy, and yeah, it's a look. I'm loving this curly. This is, I believe this is a 22 inch, and it's like, it's at my butt. Like basically all I do is get up, put it on, fix my baby hairs, um, use my little spray, and I'm good to go. Like. It's a look. Um, of course, with this curly hair, you can do different looks. So, I know a lot of people liked when I wore it like a half up look. And that's super cute, super easy as well. Basically, take your scrunchie. And I'm going to fix up my baby hairs a little bit more, y'all. So, since I'm wearing if I want to wear it up, of course, I would do this side and kind of fix it. So I'll show you how to do that. But yeah, I'm just going to take my scrunchie and pull it up. So yeah. And since I have it up, I'm going to fix my baby hairs on the other side so let me show you how to do that so again take your satin lotion this side's pretty much done take a little bit of gel and you don't need a lot of gel like that's good enough and just and if you don't have baby hairs already what I do is just pull out those long pieces. So pull out those baby hairs. I mean, pull out those long pieces. And you can literally like just start cutting. This is definitely a look. Super. So of course what everybody wants to do is put their hair in a top bun and I'm gonna show you exactly how. So say if you're out or somewhere and you're just like, oh, I need to put this hair up, it's getting too hot. So you can um, definitely put it up in a cute little messy bun. I'm gonna, uh, I would say if you decide to like wear a bun and you're gonna wear it for the whole day, definitely like uh, glue your sides down just because um, these, these sides right here tend to come up, um, you know, the quickest 
with the uh, blasting spray. So if you have like some ghost bond or something like that, um, definitely glue these two sides down by your ear. But if you're just out and about and just, you know, want to put it up. So first you're going to start by these two little ear pieces. You're going to leave them out. Um, put it all up and do the same with this side. Leave the little ear pieces out. You're going to make sure your back is secured down. Make sure your little comb is tucked in. What I like to do, since it's considered like messy, I'm going to leave like a few little pieces out hanging. Just because it's not like that perfect bun. It's more so of like a little messy bun. So, it's okay if you want to leave a few pieces hanging back there. Just to give it that little messy type of look. And again, leave the ear pieces out. Um, and what I'm going to do is just do it like this. Take my scrunchie. And I'm just going to wrap it around once. Just because I don't want it like a tight bun. I'll just wrap it around. And then so these two pieces that I've left out. You're gonna take it and just wrap it around and your other piece you'll take it and wrap it around be sure to hold the sides like I said because they will like this piece it'll come up so just take it and a few pieces out in the back give it that messy look and yeah, so that's the, that's, so yeah, this is super cute for just, if you're out on the beach or if you just hot, cause this hair can get hot cause it's so freaking long and you just want a cute little look. This is definitely it. Nothing too hard. You know, your edges is still intact and you got a cute little messy bun look. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it was really helpful. Of course, as always, make sure you like and subscribe to my channel. Um, I'll leave all the specs to this unit as well as the direct link to the unit in the description box below. I'll leave all the products used in the description box below. If you have questions, I'll leave my Instagram, my email contact so you can reach out to me. As always, thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to my channel and like this video.